game a couple of times. The first or the farthest that I have gone is about year three in fall. Completed the community center and that kind of thing. Uh, with the 1.5 update we are going to make some adjustments here. Let's do the remixed version of the community center and we are going to make it completable in the first year which I have not done yet. So I don't know if we'll be able to, but we're going to try. Mine rewards. Here are the mines. Let's mix that one. And we do not want monsters on the farm. I don't want to have to deal with them there. We're going to leave the profit margin normal. Because this game at the beginning is hard enough as it is to make money. So. Ignore the traffic outside. We do have uh, assholes nearby. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Parsnip seeds. Let's do fortune teller. Let's see. Good humor today. First thing is we are going to need a chest. I don't really have a set plan for this playthrough. I just want to get the community center done hopefully in one year. Simply because I have never done that before. Kind of want to 
to see if that gives me any trophy or anything like that. I don't even, I haven't even looked, so I don't even know. But. this at all. Uh, if you've got any tips or tricks or anything or, you know, criticism, keep it constructive and let me know. And I'll try to heed everything, but yeah. I figured I'd start this though because I'm going to be at home for about six weeks starting next month, mid-month, so I figured what better time to start a playthrough, work on my YouTube channel a little bit, find something to do while I'm home on bed rest. <laughs> this one should give us enough wood to be able to make a chest. One thing about the beach farm is no sprinklers, which on my longest game that I've played I had sprinklers and they were all over the place and yeah. So I'm kind of a little bit leery about playing this with not being able to use sprinklers. That's going to be interesting. And I don't have fertilizer yet, I forgot. <coughs> So I am going to try to keep these videos between 20 and 30 minutes. I'm going to do a day each video, except for the days that there are festivals. We might do two days just because those are usually pretty quick days. Drop all this off. Not gonna need any of that. Alright. So let's 
see if we can go meet some people. Mm, hello. Wow, already. That's pretty cool. Um, maybe we'll find something. I do need to get a little bit of energy. Just in case we find any more worms. This is the guy that I'm, inten I'm going. I intend, hello, to marry. Uh, a little bit closer to a real life, so. It's cute, I have a little vest, I don't even know. And there's a penny. Washing dishes, can't talk. What's up, George? Okay, bye. the community center yet, but I know we will need at least one of each of these. We'll eventually have one of each tree at the very least. Alright, so... What should I do? Should I do a row of five each or should I just do one each for now? Let's just do one each for now. Matter of fact, I'll do one each of all of these. Oh, I don't have any room. <laughs> you know what? No, I don't want to get rid of those either. Because if you take these two, the horseradish and the spring onion, Maybe the leek. I can't remember which one. You can make uh, spring seeds when it becomes available, and they're actually very good to sell. Make a lot of money that way. So that's what we're gonna do with all those. Oh, hey, Abigail. Damn. We gotta go grab Pan.
feel like with this shirt I have on. Uh, those little sailor uniforms. Cute little sailor outfits that kids wear. Because they used to. <laughs> I think I wore one when I was a kid. And into the Jojo Mart that we will never buy anything from, and this is the only time we will ever come in here. I probably should have taken that over to Gunther, but I don't remember what time he closes, so we'll leave it be for now. grass and we'll get some forageables later. Uh, hello? Oh, that one must be a better one. in here for now. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll leave it in here for now. I'll give that to Gunther tomorrow. I really don't even need to take a watering can with me right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> Just want to check the rest of what I have available to walk around and see if there's any more forageables. Grab this little flower up here. Daffodil. Oh, it's a silver one already. Let's see, does everybody close up at 8 or at 9? At 8. That's fine. You know what, I really didn't need to come down here, because we're going to have to come down here to see Willie tomorrow anyway. worth it. <laughs> so we're going to use as many hours of the day as we can, at least for a while, just so that we can make sure we get everything done. So I'm going to run around up here. Well, I don't need to worry about any more worms because we've got two at this point, so... And then we'll get to bed. Plus it's getting harder to see the worms right now anyway. <laughs> Heck, it's getting hard to see anything right now. Lioness will be one of the first people that I befriend, simply because he teaches you a lot of recipes once you do. You know what? Here, Lioness. Oh, I gotta wait. 
Let me wait until that. It's a Gunther, Parsnip, Parsnips, and greet all the people. Then it'll tell me to give somebody a gift. about midnight. It's not too terribly bad. I think in the cave I'm going to do fruit bats. I've always done the mushrooms, so I kind of want to check out the fruit, see what it does. I know it's not as profitable as the mushrooms, but I'm not here for the profit necessarily. I'm here for the experience, and it's something, like I said, I've never done, so I'm going to do it. I know you have to get to 25,000 in earnings before you get that open. So let's see. I'm going to try to earn as much as I can as quickly as I can, at least at first. You'll find I don't or I don't regularly check the weather simply because it doesn't matter to me a whole hell of a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna do what it's gonna do. It doesn't. It it will change what I'm going to do that morning. So, but yeah. So day one, we ended up leveling up our foraging, and we made 37 gold from that little daffodil. Anyway, so that's the end of our first one. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one, or hear from you in the next one.